Hey folks, got a little little cup battle for you today. My opponent is my good friend and a very loyal subscriber, Clefairy Rocks. Um, anyway, so she is going to lead off in this little cup battle with her mind crew, which is a premier threat of the current metagame. Now that Gligar has gone uber, uh, <laughs> it's really funny to talk about little cup uber, but anyway, now that Gligar's gone uber, there's really no reliable check for it. Um, I mean, depending on the set, it can kind of counter everything. Um, anyway, uh, she's gonna go ahead and U-turn here, which is a pretty smart move. Uh, interestingly, this is a Life Orb set. Most of the Mind Foods you see nowadays are either Eviolate or their, uh, Choice Scarf. So, uh, that's kind of interesting. Um, good lead, though. Uh, goes ahead and sends out, um, Electrike. Uh, which is going to go ahead and Volt Switch. I'm actually really surprised that it's faster, um, but uh, this is not a max speed um, plus speed nature uh, uh, Gengar, not Gengar, Ghastly. Anyway, predicting the uh, Shadow Ball um, switches into Buck, uh, but I was going to go for the Substitute. That didn't work out too well. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go for the Sludge Bomb here, which is enough to KO because Sean is really, really amazing in terms of its uh, special attack. Um, next up is Diana, a Shuppet. Wait, Shuppet? Not Shuppet. Um, Duskull. Anyway, it's gonna go ahead and KO me with a Shadow Sneak. I can't remember whether I went for the, uh, Sucker Punch there. I, I don't think I did, which was stupid. Had I gone for the Sucker Punch, I might have actually done some damage. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and send out Hermione here. Uh, gonna go ahead and use a Nasty Plot. Wait, what? Nasty Plot on a level? Obviously, this is not Hermione. Um, this is actually my uh, Zorua. Um, that sucks that that, uh, that that attack missed that uh, uh, Will O Wisp, but it doesn't matter because I'm uh, special attacking anyway. Um, I predict the switch quite well and go for the extra sensory and take out um, Mind Fu in one hit, and now I don't have to deal with it anymore, and that's excellent. Um, yeah, my team has a lot of trouble with Mind Fu. Hint, hint, if you want to challenge me. But anyway, so um, my uh, quote unquote Dwebel goes ahead and uses Hidden Power Fighting against his uh, Tortuga, um, survives thanks to Sturdy, um, and it's going to go ahead, I'm pretty sure. Oh uh, yeah, get some recovery with uh, Orenberry. Yeah, Sturdy Orenberry is actually a pretty cool strategy. Gonna go ahead and get off a sm Shell Smash, which is going to make it faster than me. Um, I debated whether to use Tortuga or Dwebble uh, on this team, but I figured I already have a Caracosta. I don't want to just do carbon copies of my OU sets. That would be lame. Um, so, Tortuga is gonna go ahead and Aqua Jet me, and I'm a little bit worried about how much damage it's gonna do at plus two. And I survive with 6 HP, and I'm hoping that the second hidden power fighting is going to kill it. In fact, I'm almost positive it's going to, considering um, the first one was enough to get down to sturdy, and that was before Shell Smash. So I managed to take out Tortuga, and that's nice. Uh, it's so cute! Maybe I will run it on another uh, little cup team. Anyway, out comes uh, Electra. I'm going to go ahead and predict the Volt Switch, and go in uh, to my Angler, my uh, Chin Chow, which is the bane of so many people's existence. Um, now, I'm, I'm predicting that it's either Scarfed or Specs, and indeed, uh, my opponent is forced to switch out rather than, you know, use an attacking move. So it switches in Snivy, I predict that, and go for the Ice Beam. Yeah, I'm doing some really excellent predictions in this match. I don't actually one-hit KO it, I'm actually surprised. Um, Snivy is faster, goes for the Giga Drain, but I'm thinking I can survive, and indeed I survive with, uh, about half my HP, which is quite nice. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go over the Ice Beam here, expecting it to KO, and indeed I do. So that's excellent news for me. Oh yeah, I got a crit, but it was a useless crit considering how much damage the first one did, so yeah. Um, and now Electra's gonna come back out, which indicates to me that it's some kind of choice item set. In fact, I'm about to find out which choice item, because in comes the switcheroo. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get a choice scarf, just as I was expecting, uh, while Electra gets an Aviolite. Trick, uh, switcheroo and Trick are going to be amazing moves in Little Cup. I mean, they already are. I get a, uh, the Burnt Hacks, which is kind of unfortunate, and I'm really sorry about that. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, so I'm, now that I'm fast as anything, I can just go for another Scald, and that's going to be pretty awesome. So down goes Electra. Um, and I'm still out there with 13 HP, and I'm doing okay. So, uh, it's, um, not shove it, Duskull. Uh, it's gonna go ahead and Shadow Sneak me. Without my Violite, it still doesn't do that much because, uh, I'm so bul- I mean, Chintao is really a pretty bulky Pokemon. Um, again I get the Burn Hacks, which is really, really lame. I'm so sorry about this. Um, 
you know, a hacksless metagame would, would be quite interesting. Although then again, if I didn't want the burn hacks at some point, I would, you know, I'd be going for Surf instead of um, Skull. But anyway, it is what it is. Uh, Shadow Sneak now is not going to do anything to me. Um, yeah, what, that the 2 HP uh, worth of damage. So another Skull is going to go ahead and finish this Dusk All off. And uh, I'm really sorry about that. Um, but I don't really... And that's the end of the battle. So... Um, great game, Clefairy Rocks. Uh, folks, please challenge me. Uh, all tiers are fine. Little Cup is especially fine. If you send me enough Little Cup challenges, I plan on um, trying to come up with a second Little Cup team. So yeah, that's all for today, folks. So long.